CJ, we were just talking with Coach Houston. He, he thinks this is your best preseason that you've put together. Do you, do you agree with that? How do you think it's going? Oh, man, I, I think, I think I've, like, I put in the work over summer, and I feel like our team as a, as a whole put in the work over the summer to come into fall camp and dominate it. He also mentioned at this point in camp that, you know, you kind of feel the season's close and that type of thing. And you kind of have to grind through it a little bit. What is that like, especially middle of the week, you know, today? Well, I mean, it's always a grind in football. You, football is year-round. We play 12 games a year, but we're preparing for those 12 games all year-round. Fall camp is, yeah, that's, that's important. But we, we look at the first game. We take one game at a time. Well, this, this was your first summer camp that you actually gone through as full, correct? Yes, ma'am. How would you think that you developed the most through that camp? Oh, man, I, I feel like I've just learned so many life lessons from football, just like from the off season, like from taking care, how important it is to taking care of your body to how important it is to perform it on the field. And most importantly, performing as a team, as a whole, as a one, like as one unit. Because like I say, championship teams are led by the players, not the coaches. Seems like you're obviously leaner this year. What are you weighing down? How much does that help you? Uh, I'm, I'm at a solid 217 right now. Uh, last year, around this time, it, like we came back from quarantine, I was 236, lost 20 pounds in a year. So feeling slim and trim. <laughs> what does that do for you? <laughs> oh man, it, it's, I, I feel better on the field. Like I can move better, move faster. A lot of attention is gone to, to Rajay and Keaton, kind of that running back combo. What do y'all feel as receivers and working with them, the potential of this offense? Potential? Oh man, this, this, the potential this offense can have is through the roof. We have so we have so many weapons. We have Tyler Snead, we have Adi Matosha, we have Rajay Harris, Keaton Mitchell. We got even our backups like Tyler Savage. You got um, Andre Pegues. Like everybody, everybody on offense make plays. Does that feel different? I guess from the last year or two, I mean, is there more kind of just excitement? You think around it, or I mean, I don't. I don't think it was any difference in the years. Like we've always had talent. We just never exposed that talent. We never reach our full potential and I feel like ourselves that was our fault like we were holding ourselves back it was it was never an opponent that was better than us like how do you feel about the chemistry between the wide receiving core and, and Holton and his right now oh man we, uh, just just over the summer with all the skill development work and everything like uh the receivers have built a good connection with Holton like he like he, he don't he don't just have a connection with me he has a connection with all of them like he he grabs all of them to the side and talks to them the same way he talks to me. Like, there's no putting me above anybody. Like, we all have we all have connections with them. We all have to make plays. You played together in high school, correct? Yes, we were on six years ago. Six years together? Yes, sir. And how, how much has you guys kind of grown together and, and pushed each other? Oh, man, it, the way the way he pushes me at practice, like getting rid of all my bad habits and stuff and like, like the ways I push him at practice, like we just make each other better. We feed off each other. When both, when one of us have energy, we feed off of it. What's your relationship like with the secondary at this point in camp? Um, they get they like they like to get they get like to get a little feisty at practice. But at the end of the day, when we come in the locker room, we're a brotherhood. On Saturdays, we're all gonna be in the same jersey. So I mean, we iron sharpens iron. Jaquan McMillan, he's pretty much an all-conference corner. So, like, what are those battles like when you're going against? Oh them? man, I tell I tell people all the time. I fa I face the best defense every week, so that means that that makes the games easy. Like, if I if I'm if I'm battling a all-conference um, cornerback every week, I feel like I could beat anybody. <laughs> What's the toughest thing to deal with with him? I mean, you're obviously a bigger guy. But oh man, just... it's just we we match up with each other so much. Like, I know his move, he knows my move, so it's like. You got to throw in a, a curveball every now and then. What about in practice, Coach Houston missing, mentioned the music is for y'all to have fun, obviously, but also the crowd factor. That, you know, that, how does that kind of work? I know y'all like to dance and enjoy it, but there, there's some teaching moments in that. Yeah, too. and in practice, like the music, yeah, like boys like to dance to it, but we, we usually dance to it when we're not not <laughs> not running a rep. But it, it's all to simulate the noise, like like um, when we're getting the plays from the sideline, it's signaled, it's signaled in, like. We can't hear them call to play, so like we we all have to look at the signals. So like the music is there for that reason, like just to just assimilate the crowd and like this is what it's gonna sound like on game day. Yeah. 
like it's just not gonna be music, but it's gonna be cheering. But yeah. <laughs> like you're you're not gonna be able to hear anything. No outside noise. You've heard Dowdy pack Dowdy pack fifty thousand. How excited are you about that? Oh man, I can't wait. Let me count his boom, man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.